So how long do you think this visit with your sister is going to take? As long as it takes to make sure she's not crying her eyes out over Vincent and to give her this. That could take a while. What are you doing? I just love you so much, I can't stop. Who is it? Delivery. I didn't order anything. It's from a, uh, Vincent Jones. Well, whatever it is, I don't want it. Come on, Layla. Cut me some slack. It's Sean. This will kill me if I don't give this to you. Now, can you tell me what we're doing? Shh. What are we doing here? I see Vincent across the room, sitting by himself. Are you following him? Since when? Since Christian hired me to prove he fixed the Abbott fight. When did Christian do that? Last night. Well, you focus on your target, and I'll focus on mine. Boy, well, am I glad to see you. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm kind of dragged lately. Sweetheart, you recently lost the man you loved. Nobody expects you to be normal. <laughs> well, at least we have some good news. Grandpa's home. Indeed he is, yeah, and you just missed him. Nigel just took him up to his room. How's he doing? Well, he's criticizing everything that Kevin and I did at BE while he was sick. He's calling Bo every day, complaining that Bo doesn't visit enough, and he's barking at Nigel all day long. Okay, it sounds like he's back to his old self. <laughs> Absolutely, he is. Well, that's because he's got family. You know, the most therapeutic thing in the world is having a wonderful family. They are different from you and me. They possess and enjoy early. Who wrote that? Fitzgerald. You want to be alone? I'll come back later. No, no, please stay. I I'm really glad you're here. I wish I could have seen your face that day that you realized that Paige and I were in the same little town as your dear old dad. Now you had your target and your two favorite tools to help you get him. I think you're free associating, David. Again, that's what I think. You really should seek professional help, you know that? Spencer, I found that picture of our mother in Ace's study because you told me where to look. I didn't get to talk to him because he was in the hospital and I was in jail for a murder you committed. But when I did get to talk to Asa, he admitted to the affair with our mother. So what? So there's a timeline. I asked him about it, and it works out. Our mother married our father shortly after Asa ended his affair with our mother. That's it. You get a bird's eye view here. Yeah, that's his jawline, just like Asa. You know, you'll never be able to prove any of this, David. That's why you did most of the things that you did, isn't it, Spencer? To get back at a father who threw you away. these flowers. How about you take them back to Mr. Jones and tell him Layla said to shove them. Take these, throw them in the garbage. That way I can at least do what Vincent told me to. You know, Sean, I'm only doing this so you don't get in trouble. You should give him a second chance. It's not as bad as you think. 
Yeah? So how bad is he? Got a hell of a nerve coming anywhere near me. I wanted to try to square things. Listen, I thought everything was cool with Vega, but he went crazy. I thought he was gonna kill me. What makes you so sure that I won't take you in the back and finish the job? All right, you see that guy standing over there? He's the one who ratted Vincent out to Christian. Yeah, he must be sweating right now. Oh, I wish I knew what they were saying. Yeah. Oh, my mother's talking to the manager. Very right back, okay? I know this is very short notice, but um, I would like to rent this entire place for a private party tomorrow night. Well, how many people? Just two. That's very private. <laughs> yes, it is. Just between us girls, I've had a bit of a falling out with the man in my life, and I need to make things up with him. He's one of the Buchanans, so I need to make a really grand gesture. And I want everything to be absolutely perfect. Why did you do that? <laughs> you sober yet? I was a drunk. You were plastered. You're lucky I only shoved you in the shower. Oh, I wouldn't have fit in the sink or the toilet. I could have I... taken you downtown and booked you for drunk and disorderly. Uh -huh. and then I could have hauled you over to family court and argued that you're a drunk who gets into bar fights and you're not fit to be around your daughter. You have hated my guts since day one, Antonio. You had me where you wanted me. Why did you let me off the hook, huh? Who is it? It's me, Angeline. Hi. Layla. I love it. Oh, thank you. And look, someone already sent you flowers. Yeah. Instant. And you took them? Why would you do that? You could only find a use for that wild imagination of yours. You wouldn't need my money now. Excuse me. You made sure Asa was alone on New Year's Eve, and then you drugged him, and you left that picture, didn't you? Come on, Spencer. You can at least admit that you know about the affair. All right. All right, I admit it. Doesn't mean man's my father, David. I considered that. Thinking maybe you were just upset that Asa broke our mother's heart. But I abandoned that theory because you're not that loyal to anyone. This has to be about you. You do things with a surgeon's precision. You collected all that information about the Buchanans, meticulously hid it inside of your computer. You had Paige to get the bow. You had me to distract Kelly so you could punish Clint through Kevin. Then all you had to do, sit back and watch. Wasn't enough, though, was it? Even when Asa almost died of a heart attack and Bo lost his job, even when you forced Kevin to choose between the life of his fiance and the life of his son, and Duke Buchanan died because of that choice, none of us made up for the fact that Asa got our mother pregnant and dumped her so he could shower his billions on his real son. You're damn right it wasn't enough, but it still isn't! You really are Ace's son. Yes, I am. <laughs> to my everlasting regret, I must say that I am. Are you satisfied now? What, are you kidding? I want to hear all about it. How did you find out? Mother told me. When? When she was dying. She told me all about how Asa seduced her, made promises to her that he had no intention of keeping, ruined her life and mine, and then just broke her heart, walked away from her. That's when she begged me to do to him what he had done to us. What did she want to do exactly? Take him out, destroy Asa, and all of the rest of the Buchanans along with him. You were fine with that? It focused me, David. And I spent years building a reputation as a surgeon, gathering information. I know all of their strengths, all of their weaknesses, their soft spots. And I just waited 
for the proper moment. And yes, when I found out you and Paige were living in Landu, it was like Mother was talking to me from the grave, as if she was saying, now, do it now. And if I hadn't fallen in love with Blair, if I hadn't fallen in love with Blair, there wouldn't be a piano left standing. So they took him off the ventilator this morning. He's sedated because of the pain, but he's he's made it through the critical period. He's going to make it. Yeah. It's a long, hard recovery. And a lot of pain. Um, are his adoptive parents here? No, they, uh, they had to go back to California. They have two little kids, also adopted, and they have jobs, so... But they call twice a day, and I I put the receiver right up to his ear so he can hear their voices. They were so great. They just welcomed me into the family, you know. Not everybody would do that. I should have been here a lot sooner. No. Yeah. No. You had to take care of yourself. At least Hugh survived. I, I can't even imagine what John's death did to you. John was like a little brother to me. It's like, like the one that's always getting into trouble, but that's what you like about him. You know, Hugh is every mother's dream son. My son, the lawyer. <laughs> He was doing so well. And then I told him about me and about Spencer, and just a few days later, this... You did not cause that accident, okay? And I have a good feeling that Hugh is going to be just fine, because he's made out of sturdy stuff. He's, he's just like his mom. Honey, someone is here to see you. Bo is here. Hey, buddy. Feel better? Layla, I did not come over here to lecture you, honey. I, I really just came over here to give you this. You got me a present? Yeah, it's for your new place. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I love it. And isn't my timing just perfect? I'm telling you, Vince, Vega already knew it was you. He just kept punching me until I said the name. But I swear, if he was the law, I would have let him kill me first. You just killed the noise. You're the one who talked to Abbas, China. He's the one that's put the stuff on Abbas' gloves. I had nothing to do with any of that. But you had me make sure Christian lost that fight. Right. I did it. I'll never tell anybody else. I'll never say anything again. Well, you make sure that you don't. Get it? Got it? Good. Beat it. And we'll take care of everything. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi. Oh, Adriana. I've missed you so much. Um, what do you want? How would you like to help me bring down Vincent Jones? You asked me why I didn't arrest you and keep you from seeing Bree. Yes. My daughter's grandfather tried to do that to me. This time last year, I had short supervised visits. You'd have to do something pretty bad for me to do that to you. I didn't know about that. Look, I know what you think, man. But I don't hate you, and even if I did, it wouldn't matter. You're Bree's father, and she needs to know you. And then there's the fact that a certain power line may have been the end of me if it hadn't been for you. My conscience overcame my better instincts. Yeah, well, you gave me a second chance, and that's what I'm giving you. So clean up your act, 
to be the father Bree needs you to be. I will. Like I know what it's like to uh, to screw up because uh, because you love a certain woman. I see her, but she's not there. Yeah, I know. I practically went crazy when Tess was with you. You know, Antonio, you're probably the only person in this whole world who knows how I feel. Thank you for not being a jerk about it. I know it's tempting. Yeah, well, my uh, conscience overcame my better instinct. Look, I, uh, I have this idea that... Um, that if the situation were reversed, you'd do the same thing for me. Layla, if you want to put the roses in the vase, it's fine. I'm not going to give you a hard time about it. No, I threw them away. And I'm glad I did. Look, we both know that Vincent had a really shady reputation. Yeah, but... He was so sweet with me and gentle. I haven't had someone like that in my life in a really long time. I know. And Christian only has Ted's word for what happened, and Ted's a creep. Yeah, but Ted worked for Vincent, and I... I don't know, don't you think he would have to know what his boss was up to? Layla, you saw the look on Vincent's face when I laid it out for him. He did it. I just really wish he hadn't. Yeah, so do I. But you know, I, I can't let him get away with this. What are you going to do with him? Well, I hired Rex and see if he can find proof. Okay. And then Vincent will go to jail, and that'll be the end of him. Did you deliver the flowers? Yep. Well, what happened? Layla. She took the flowers because I told her that you'd be really unhappy with me if she did it. Oh, man. So that's it. It's over. Of course, you can. Hey, thanks for trying. So, how have you been? You're talking to me. <laughs> Well, we're bound to run into each other, so I might as well be civil. Let's just don't expect more than that. Anything's better than never seeing you again. So what were you talking to the manager about? Oh, I was making a reservation for tomorrow night. Special occasion. I sure hope so. With Clint. I don't want to talk about Clint. I want to talk about you. Are you all right? I have an apartment. I'm fine. Adriana, I miss you so much. Yeah, well, I should get back to Rex. Have fun tomorrow night. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi. Can I help you? Um, Dorian Lord is my mother, and she just told me about her plans for tomorrow night. And I would love to send flowers. Could you tell me what time the reservation is? So, Marcy and Michael adopted a baby boy, Tommy. Yeah, I saw him at uh, John Service. Cute little kid. They asked me to be his godmother. Oh, that's wonderful. That's a wonderful job, too, godmother. You get all the fun, none of the responsibility. Yeah, and I could tell him all about his brave Uncle John. You know, being Tommy's godmother, that's going to make you part of John's family forever. I know, Dad. I just... I wish I was his aunt. You know, I wish that John and I were spoiling him together. Yeah. You know, someone who would understand that feeling is Michael McBain. So why don't you lean on him? Yeah, you lean on all of us. You got a whole big network backing you up, you know. Yeah. And you guys have been great. You know, you let me talk when I need to talk, and 
Well, you give me space when I need it. Yeah. I sense you're about to say, but... No, I... I don't know, Dad. I just... You know, it's, it's Mom and Roxy and Rex and Jess. It's like I always... I always see this look on their face like they're worried, like I'm going to have my next mental breakdown any second. Honey, your mother knows what you're going through. No, I know, I know. But I wish she didn't. I don't know, I just, I feel like I just want this to be my own experience, my breakdown. God, I seem like such a brat. I mean, here I am, I'm complaining about all these people that love me. You are not a brat. And you can tell your dad anything. Spencer, lots of people have rotten daddies. Did you ever think about just letting it go? How could I do that, David? I made a promise. Our mother. Uh, our mother? Neurotic doesn't quite capture Ace, our mother. Uh, Ace uh, made her that way, David. The Buchanans think they're untouchable, but they're not. Look at Kevin, the golden boy, Kevin. Well, he's sterile. And his ex-wife is pregnant by his dead son. A son who <laughs> died because you were taking your own sweet time operating on Kelly. At Kevin's own request. <laughs> and Bo, of course. His life, his relationship with Paige was an absolute living nightmare. They took away his badge, man. Temporarily. That's just because I was too preoccupied, too busy with Blair. But uh, I'm focused again. And when I get out of here, I, I, I hate to be a downer, but that, that may take a while. John McBain was the chief witness against me. And he's. Well, he's dead. In case that doesn't work out, and you still want to get back at Asa, why don't you tell me your plan so I can follow through on it for you? I wouldn't trust you to pick up my laundry, much less entrust you to finish the most important job of my life. Your job? Spencer, your job is saving your own skin. I have a plan to make Asa pay. Literally. Really? What's that? Reconsider. Sign these. You really actually can't believe that I'm that stupid. You haven't even read them. I saw it, David. I saw the power of attorney. All you're trying to do is stake your claim in the Buchanan fortune. You think I don't know that? Isn't that the perfect revenge? That's the problem with you, David. You've always been so short-sighted. Listen to me. Money can never be one's ultimate goal. Remember that. You might change your tune when you're free. And we're counting all that Buchanan cash. You don't believe for a second I'm going to beat these charges, man. But you do. And in my experience, when you think something's going to happen, it tends to happen. Then why are you so eager to have me name you as my sole heir? I was a little transparent, so what? You make me sick. Get out of my sight, David. Oh, look. Just read the new will. You already have a new will? If I die, my son. My son gets everything. Hugh Hughes? He's the one who put you in here. He doesn't want anything to do with you. Yes. But he's a Buchanan. And you're not. He, he knows you. That, that's good. You take it easy. Where? You're in the hospital. You were, you were in an accident, but you're going to be fine. Uh, you know, I, I think I'm going to go get his doctor. Try to, try to calm him down. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Please tell Mr. Fujimoto that we will have these figures for him... Uh, well, we'll have these figures for him in the morning. No, 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 uh, no. Our morning. The Landview morning. Okay. Domo Oregano.
Walter. Kiss me. Get some sleep. Oh, hold on. Um, your brother was trying to give me some advice, but I thought he was getting in my face. Please tell him that I acted like a jackass, and I'm sorry. I will. And uh, this, this, this whole, this whole broken-hearted thing. Oh, it's new for me, but I'm going to try to get it together, man. I think that's a good plan. Hey, one more thing. Um, thank you. Don't mention it. Call me tomorrow. Are you crazy? Vince finds out I talk to you, I'm history. Christian finds out you didn't say anything to me, you're going to have a lot more than that I worry about. So, either way, you're screwed. How about for once in your sorry life, you do the right thing? Guess what? I know, I saw you talking to your mother. Yeah, she misses me so much that she's planning a hot evening with Clint that she doesn't want me to know anything about. Oh, and I bet you think this is the opportunity you've been waiting for. Yep. Clint's gonna have a hot night, all right. But it's not gonna be with Dory. What do you have in mind? I'm still working out the details, but it's gonna be good. Did you get that guy to roll on Vincent? Not yet, but I will. Careful, Rex. There are two sides to Vincent. The one he shows to Layla, and the one he shows to anybody who gets in his way. What are you doing down here? I'd like to come here so that I can stare and think. You? Just walking. Vincent, you don't walk anywhere. You'd have Sean drive you to the bathroom if he could get away with it. You know, I don't want to dump my problems on you, not now. But. Listen. I would rather talk about anything other than how I'm handling my grief, so lay it on me. Uh, well, I'm not surprised. You're not the type to wallow. Well, believe me, I have my days. Yeah, me too. You know, Layla and I, uh, Layla and I, we, we called it quits. What did you do? How did you know it was me? I know. <laughs> I never said I was a Boy Scout. Yeah, I'm not judging. Believe me, I remember how I was when I first came to this town. Bad? Horrible. Yeah. So what changed you? My family. And falling in love with Christian. You know, we're not together anymore, but I'll always be grateful to him. We'll always be connected. It's good when it happens that way. Yeah. It took us a while, but we're, we're there now. If anybody ever hurt Christian, they'd have to deal with me. Pa? Pa, is that you? I better go check on Spencer admitted that he's Asa Buchanan's son. He admitted it? Tell me everything. No, 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 no. Just 
forget I said that. Do I start talking now? No. I told you this morning, I cannot be part of anything you're planning. I I care too much about Clint, and this, this could change everything for him. Yeah, it could make him a whole lot poorer. You want Spencer to share the money. Go ahead. But you're doing it on your own. And what about that little chat we had last night, where I promised to help you get Adriana and Clint back, huh? Is that off too? Actually, I'm making progress with both of them. All on my own. Yeah, well, I'm not. Spencer won't sign the power of attorney or the new will. You'll think of something. Where's your inner Dorian, Dorian? What? I'm telling you, I'm not making any headway. Then you will just have to be creative. Be creative? Oh, I've got it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. You sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You call me if you need anything you promise? I will. Just to talk, whatever? Yes, and thank you for the nice. It was it's beautiful. You're beautiful. You're going to find somebody better. Someone who deserves you. Right. Yeah. I love you. I love you, too. this thing that you did? Wouldn't work. Not bad, huh? I'm afraid so. Besides, he wouldn't even see me. Then you got a problem. But you have time. And time, well, it can help a woman to decide that maybe what you did wasn't so bad. Well, I hope you're right. You know, the thing is, I really like the guy that I was when I was with her. Without her, I don't know what I'll end up as. And I'm not finished with you yet either, Asa. In fact, what I have planned for you is going to make what I did to Todd Manning look like a day at the beach. And you and your boys won't even know what hit you. So, do you know what made him so anxious? Well, he, uh, he asked where he was, and I told him about the accident. Maybe he wasn't ready to hear all of that. Could be. Anyway, thank you for coming so quickly. Why don't you let me take you out to get something to eat? Oh, that's sweet, but I really should stay with him. Yeah, but he's asleep right now, and you need food. When was the last time you really sat down and you had a decent meal? You know, you don't have to take care of me. I know that, but I want to, so come on. Come on, let me take you out for a steak. <laughs> Red meat. You cannons answer to everything, right? <laughs> it's a start. Sign this 
document. It's very important that you sign this document. If you sign it, you can make sure that Spencer Truman never bothers you again. You hate Spencer, right? Okay, here we go. Do you have a pen? Give me your right hand. Sorry. There you go. Make a fist. Let my conscience be your guide. There. Wait, dot the eye. On the next one life to live. Would it be possible if you told us who his birth parents are? This is my home and I'm staying, okay? We're gonna need as much time alone as you can give me. I'm not sure I can pull this off, and if I don't, Spencer Truman's gonna go free.